Hey everyone, it's Kurt Mercadante here. We're about to start the webinar. Uh, thanks for joining so much. Uh, I'm a Gallup Certified Strengths Coach and I'm with uh, Gravina Coaching Systems. And I hope you're excited to be here because I'm excited to talk to you about strengths-based development. And I'll tell you exactly why I'm excited. Because we're gonna talk about how you can dramatically increase productivity, drive performance, and maximize growth without burning yourself out. And my goal, if you stay until the very end of this webinar, is to get you to sign up for a personal call and a Clifton Strengths assessment. Uh, well, that's the first step towards strengths based development and getting you to reach this goal right here. So, first, let's talk a bit, little bit about myself and who I am, just real briefly. Uh, again, my name is Kurt Mercadante, I'm a Gallup certified strengths coach. Um, I'm a business owner myself. I built a successful one and a half million dollar a year PR and advertising agency. And as you can see, I've counseled some of the country's largest nonprofits and corporations. I've done a lot of things right <laughs> throughout my career, and I've done a lot of things wrong. You know, I've tried and failed, I've won and I've lost. I've suffered through anxiety and doubt and burnout. But thanks to this strengths based development program, I rebounded. You know, as I mentioned, these are three things that I experienced. About seven, eight years ago, I was suffering from burnout, anxiety, disengagement. My business was doing well, but my work-life balance was absolutely horrible. I started to hate my job. I didn't see enough of my wife and kids. The money didn't seem like it was worth it anymore. And like we're taught since we're young, you know, I kept trying to fix my weaknesses. I focused on those weaknesses. And, you know, that's something we're taught to do since birth. Focus on trying to fix our weaknesses, trying to dissect what we're doing wrong and attack that. You know, since we're babies, <laughs> since we're in the, in the cradle, um, that focus on trying to fix our weaknesses is called deficit-based development. We're taught, educated, and coached according to this model. And I'll tell you what, it's the exact opposite model of what we use here at Gravina Coaching Systems. I'd like you to look at this quote from Tom Rath, um, who is with Gallup, and he's the best-selling author of Strength Finders 2.0. And here's his quote. From the cradle to the cubicle, we devote more time to fixing our shortcomings than to developing our strengths. That's exactly what I was talking about in that, that uh, deficit-based development model. Uh, you know, Strength Finders 2.0, you may have heard of it. You may have even read it. Uh, you know, Tom works for Gallup and I can tell you his book is what got me hooked on the strength based development model that was so key in turning my life and my company around. Tom Rath is also the grandson of this man, Dr. Donald Clifton. Now, Dr. Don Clifton worked for Gallup. He was a businessman. He was also a psychologist. He's known as the father of strengths based psychology. And he looked at this deficit based development model and said, what if we turned it on his head? And here's his famous quote, what will happen when we start thinking about what is right with people rather than fixating on what is wrong with them? And so let me ask you something. Are you interested in learning how to dramatically increase productivity, drive performance, and maximize growth without burning yourself out using those principles that Tom Rath and Dr. Clifton were talking about? Well, here's three secrets I'd like to share with you, right? These are three major pain points we see with our coaching clients and potential clients that come to us. I'd like to share with you these three secrets. Secret one, I can finally feel more engaged and fulfilled at work. Secret number two, I can vastly improve my quality of life. Secret number three, work-life balance, I can boost my productivity and growth without, quote, more grind, right? There's, these are certainly three things that I know at the low point of my anxiety and burnout seven years ago that I was interested in. And so if these are things that you're interested in, which I assume you are since you're on this webinar, let's talk about each of these in more detail, right? So secret number one, I can finally feel more engaged and fulfilled at work. Well, Gallup actually finds, and Gallup probably won't surprise you that they have decades of public opinion research on this, and they followed up on this, and they found that people who focus on their strengths are actually six times as likely to be engaged in their jobs. That's right. They've analyzed teams and individuals over several decades. And these people who focus on their strengths, rather than simply trying to fix their weaknesses, are more engaged, which makes sense, right? If you're in what we like to call the strength zone, things come easier to you. 
You're less stressed or stretched doing certain tasks that fall within your strengths. You're in what I like to call the flow, right? Where you accomplish tasks in such an easy way and almost lose track of time. And you know, Gallup also finds that only 13% of the American workforce is actually engaged at work. What that means is the great majority of workers are actually disengaged, likely because so many of them aren't working in their strength zone on a daily basis. So let's go to secret number two, right? I can vastly improve my quality of life. Well, Gallup finds that people who focus on their strengths are three times as likely to report having an excellent quality of life. And like secret number one, this makes perfect sense as well. If you have more and more days where you're in the flow and things are coming easier to you, this means you end each day feeling more accomplished, right? You come home and you can relax and hopefully remain in that strength zone and how you collaborate with your significant other, your wife, your husband, your kids. And with our program, we focus on helping you identify your talents and turn them into strengths so that you can be in that strength zone as much as possible in and out of work. Okay, secret number three. Work-life balance, I can boost my productivity and growth without more grind, right? What's Gallup say about this? People who use their strengths daily have 7.8% greater productivity and teams who have strengths feedback, you know, where their bosses or managers are actually giving them feedback according to their strengths, not just according to their weaknesses, report an 8.9% greater profitability. Right, and we see a lot of folks who think the key to greater productivity is simply to get up earlier or work later or grind more. But if you're working in that strength zone, you're getting more things done more easily and efficiently. You've learned how to better collaborate with your team members. Maybe they've learned to work within their strength zone as well. And so it's more of a well-oiled machine. For me, as well as so many others who followed this program, that means a direct impact on your work-life balance because you're getting more done at work more efficiently, which leaves you more time to spend with and enjoy your family and friends. And of course, all of these secrets, the productivity, the engagement at work, the quality of life, contribute to greater prof profitability in a number of ways. You know, you're getting more done more efficiently. Maybe you're more confident and energized when you're dealing with customers and clients. Okay, so how does all of this work, right? You may be wondering that. Okay, step one. I'll go back to this. Just a 15-minute strategy call with me, personal call. I'll hop on the phone with you, and we'll talk through some of your challenges, your opportunities, and then talk about if doing the Clifton Strength Finder assessment through me uh, is, the, is the right path to take. Step two, your talent themes report, right? So you'll provide it, when you take that assessment, you'll be provided with what's called a signature theme report. This will show your top five talent themes. So pictured here, are a number of those themes. There's 35 themes in all, and your signature theme report will show you your top five most dominant. So we talk about talents, we talk about strengths. You know, what is a talent, right? So talent, as Gallup defines it, is a naturally recurring pattern of thought, feeling, or behavior that can be productively applied. So here's some examples of talent, right? You effortlessly and instinctively start conversations with people. Maybe you think in an orderly or timely manner. Being able to easily influence others, seeing patterns in data, consistently having a positive outlook in life. These are all talent themes that are identified by Gallup and that you can find out, um, you know, your top five of those when you take your signature, you take your assessment, you're provided your signature theme report. So, for example, here are my top five talent themes, right? Learner, context, activator, responsibility, intellection. Um, and so you start with these talents, which are raw, innate, unique abilities, right? So context, I'll give you an example. I like to look to the past. I like to look to history, uh, recent past, the, the distant past, to find the answers to what's happening in the present, the challenges that we might face in the future. Intellection, uh, I'll give you an example of that. Um, I like uh, to have alone time to really let information process, let my day process to, to come up with solutions and ideas. Um, so this is an example of the top five talent themes. And when you take the assessment, you're provided your top five talent themes and your signature theme report and, and a few other descriptions of those uh, and how you can apply them in your life, right? And so what's the difference? We talk about talents, we talk about strengths, right? 
So what we like to say is that you start with talent, but you finish with strength. So what Gallup says is there's nothing wrong with being aware of our weaknesses and managing them, right? You, you should be competent in certain things. You shouldn't ignore your weaknesses, but our goal is to manage them while we focus on your strengths because the greatest opportunity for success lies in building on our natural talents. And so the goal here of our program is to turn these talents into strengths. Just like a muscle, you have to invest in and exercise your talents in order to turn them into strengths. So, step three, right? Hire me as your coach, right? So what I offer is personalized, strengths-based coaching to business professionals and teams looking to increase productivity, drive performance, and maximize growth. If you're local, I do that in person. You're watching this webinar, so the likelihood is I'll do that uh, online with you. And here's a little bit about our strengths-based approach, right? So we'll help you build awareness and understanding of your talents. So, you know, what are your top five most dominant talents? And then we'll provide you with insight and counsel into how you can use them to meet your goals and achieve success. So listen, finding out your talent themes is a key first step. But what about after that? How are you going to apply them? How are you going to be held accountable? What's going to be your detailed action plan for performance growth? That's why I'm here. As a coach, I work with you on all of these things. You know, strengths-based coaching is not about fixing you, but it's about unlocking your powerful potential. I'll work with you to use tools, evidence, and insights to help you know yourself a little better. And I like to say that as a coach, I sit in the passenger seat helping you to understand, adjust, and guide yourself in pursuit of improved performance. So, what are your talent themes you want to know? You can start with your free strategy call with me. And it's easy. There's a button on the page, on the webinar page, at which you're watching this video. Click it. Sign up for the free strategy call. That's the key first step. And I want you to use, as I promised, there's a special offer. Use the webinar code Clifton Strong. It's spelled right there, Clifton Strong. And I'll know that you're signing up for the street free strategy call. You know, we'll talk about it a bit. Um, and uh, uh, if you're serious about having a coaching relationship with me, um, you know, we'll talk about your challenges, your opportunities, what you hope to get from a coaching relationship. If we determine that coaching relationship is right for you, um, I'll give you another special code, right? Uh, to take your Clifton Strengths Finder assessment. And that assessment will be the first step toward helping you become aware of your unique talents and a big step toward the road of strengths-based development. And what does that mean? It's, you, it means, quite simply, that you'll be on that road to dramatically increasing your productivity, driving performance, and maximizing growth without burning yourself out. So again, I'd love you to start with that first step, a free strategy call with me. Click the button on this webinar page. Use that special webinar code. Sign up for that 15-minute call with me. We'll talk through it. We'll find out your challenges, opportunities. If you're, if you're serious about a coaching relationship, and then we'll take the next step, which will be me giving you a code to take your Clifton Strengths Finder assessment. So I really want to thank you for your time today, uh, for taking the time to join me. Um, and uh, I, as you can tell, I'm real passionate about it. As I mentioned, it's something that I've used for my own company uh, to turn my work and my life around to beat that burnout and anxiety, it's something we use with our clients, and it's something that I would absolutely love to do with you. I hope you'll sign up, and I look forward to talking to you on our 15-minute uh, call. Thank you.